Hey guys, Mama here. Uh, we will be uh, taking a look at some uh, epic stuff in this new tutorial. It's basically going to be a skyboxes and an uh, HDR image in Photoshop and or Cinema 4D or uh, or uh, yeah, you know, any 3D program. You could even put it in your game. So uh, let's get started. And uh, yeah, I hear you guys think like, wh what the hell is he talking about? HDR images, skyboxes. Oh, uh, I'll show you guys. So I uh, I opened up Object Viewer, and Object Viewer is a, a program which you can like easy view some objects from the Source Engine. And I downloaded some uh, a custom map. It's called Hikes Sauna Final Version One, but it's cool. And when I drop it in, you'll see <clears throat> why it's so cool. Right. So as you can see, the skybox is epic. I really love this pink, pinkish uh, shit. So uh, yeah, so it started me thinking like, hey, I want that, I want that skybox. So yeah, I want it for in in Cinema 4D. Right, so we want it too. So we're gonna basically uh, export this into some different uh, different shit. So I'll just go to the view in a material browser, and I'll browse to my materials and to my skybox there. And I'm just gonna browse for oh there we go for the skybox itself. So as you can see, it's, it's got water underneath it, which is pretty cool. So we're just gonna do uh, going to save these. Uh, going to save these. I'm just right mouse button save as. And I'll just uh, open up a new uh, new folder real quick. Tutorial. And I'll call yeah I'll just uh, just just uh, you know get these names, and I'll save them all. Right there, save as, save as, save as. So if I'm not mistaken, I got, let's see, documents, tutorial, oh wow. Wait, let me just, uh, let's see, do it again. Save as, oh wait, never mind. I'll just do it again real quick. So tutorial save. And we're also gonna save this one. Tutorial save. Tutorial save. Right there. Right, so we got all the images ready for action. Right there. So right now, as you can see, I got these uh, six images, which uh, will represent like the the six boxes of a of a cube. So when I go, uh, let me let me let me go ahead and get started. Um, I'll show you the difference between this kind of images and the normal ones. So I'll just open up uh, another window. Let's see. I'll show you some normal ones. So yeah, there we go. This is the image we're looking for. You can like uh, throw these on a, on a on a sphere, and these spheres will like uh, get a sky. So it will look seamlessly, and like you're in the studio. So the same is here. As you can see, there's like no cubic. Uh, yeah, you can you'll see the cube. You just see the sky, like here, like it's like it's there. So I'm gonna open up a new uh, Photoshop file to uh, to do to do this uh, same effect, and all these files are in the Let's see. Uh, oh wait, no. They're all uh, 1,024 pixels by 1,024 pixels. So I'm just gonna start a new, uh, a new, uh, new, new, uh, new file with uh, four times height and three times the the resolutions. So right there. Oh wait, it has to be the other way. Excuse me. New like the height is really high, right there. So, uh, now I'm gonna delete the background, and I'm gonna drag my uh, my stuff in. So let's see, computer, tutorial, and I'm just gonna drag them all in. Press OK. Right, so now it's just one big giant puzzle. So first of all we need to have like the center piece, and the center piece is First, I have to move them all up. Oh, wait, 
to rasterize them all. There we go. Right there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look for the the middle piece, and I think it's this one. Yeah. So I'm just gonna pop it in the middle, and I'm gonna look for the left piece. So right there, left piece. Uh, what else we got here? Down piece. Not supposed to be down. Back. Nope. Also wrong. All right. And what else we got here? This one, no. This one, yeah. Right. So as you can see, these three are right, and those three are wrong, but they're actually on the on the right place. So the up one and the down one are like the bottom and the top of the view. So I'm just gonna rotate him in the right place. As you can see, it fits. So I was gonna do the same with the up. Right there. And now the bottom one is just going to be uh, rotating all the way until it fits right there. So as you can see, we got like a nice little cross thing going on. And I'm going to save this as a, as a JPEG. So uh, document tutorial. I'm going to save it as a JPEG, and I'm going to call it uh, uh, version one right there. And obviously, it want a maximum quality. So I saved it as a JPEG. And now we're going to in a, in a really cool uh, program. It's called HDR Shop, and it's a free tool. You can download it. Just Google it, and I'm just gonna drag my uh, drag my image in. So my version one. I'm gonna drag it in, and just press OK. And if I zoom out, you'll see that I got this. Uh, I got my image in. And now we need to do some some cool stuff. Uh, we're gonna reposition these uh, six images as one. Uh, loopable image. So this program has an automatically script uh, in it. So I'm just gonna click image, panorama, panoramic transformations. And this one you need you really need to pay attention. So format one has to be a vertical cross as we used. Uh, and the format will be a uh, latitude slash longitude. And the resolution will be really high because we actually have four images where uh, like like the four images in the in the width so I'm just gonna type this in and we just stated it with the suggested expect ratio right so if I press OK BAM there we go if I zoom out you can see it this is perfectly uh, loopless you can do whatever you want with it so I'm just gonna save it as a ACR file and I'm gonna save it on my let's see Let's see, uh, documents, tutorial, and I'm going to save it as version 2. But as you can see, we got some nasty stuff in here. If I uh, zoom in, you can actually see we have some white bars. And I don't know what this is, but we need to Photoshop them out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my tutorial and actually go into Photoshop and open a new file. So this time with the height at 4K and uh, the width at 4K, excuse me, and the height at 2K as we export it. So now I can actually drag this uh, version 2 in and I can edit the layers. So I'll press OK and I'll rasterize it. So right now I'm just going to use the, what's it called, I don't know, the, the spot healing brush tool and I'm just going to brush over this line and you can see there's a little bit of uh, stuff going on but you won't notice it in uh, Cinema 4D. It's so less. So I'm just gonna draw draw all over these lines. Right there. Oh, excuse me. Right. Alright, now the other side. Alright, almost finished. There we go. And now I'm going to save it as uh, JPEG again. So I'm going to save it as JPEG as version 3. 
and obviously we want the maximum quality. And now I'm going to go back in the HDR shop. So I'm going to close this file and close this one and drag and drop my uh, version 3 in it. And I'm going to press OK. And now we're just going to save it as uh, ACF file. So I'm going to call it version 4. Right there. And now you're going to ask yourself what the hell we just created. So I'll show you. Right, here we got Cinema 4D. And I'm just going to make a cube and put it like a good spot right there. And I'll create a floor. And now I'm going to create a sky. And use this new material, version 4, as the, uh, the sky image. Drag it on the sky. And as you can see, it's like really, really bad quality uh, sky. But as soon as I render it, you'll see it look great. So when I use this, uh, like this scene right here, and I'm going to use global illumination. So I'm just going to enable it, and also some ambient occlusion. And now watch the result of this. Uh, not to say epic, but uh, it's good. Wow. So now you've successfully uh, exported a skybox out of a source map, or any Team Fortress 2, or any game uses the Half-Life 2 engine, and successfully like created an HDR image, usable in Cinema 4D. So you can do this with all uh, all kind of uh, all kinds of stuff as long as you make this cross as we used in version uh, version two yeah version two and version one of course uh, this cross will uh, will be very useful in this program I really like it it's it's free I'll uh, I'll get a link in the description I hope you guys like this tutorial I mean it's it's really new and I've actually never seen any video like this one and I hope some guys. Uh, will like it and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see this as useful. So okay, I'll see you guys next uh, on the next video and uh, have fun in the meantime. See ya!